Yo, today I'm gonna react it to Agnes Mo performing live on iHeartRadio, bro. 24, almost 25 minutes long. I'm about to get right through it, man. Get on to the channel, make sure to that subscribe button for your boy. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys ain't subscribing to my videos, bro. Subscribe. Help me reach 5K subscribers by the end of 2020. If y'all wanna see some more Agnes Mo, let me know down below. Comment with the most likes on it or the name of the song that i see the most in the comments i'm gonna react to i'm backed up on reactions man i have so many videos to react to if y'all hear for agnes mo this is one of many you know what i'm saying and i have plenty other ones already uploaded so make sure y'all show some love on those but be patient with your boy man don't unsubscribe just be patient they're on the way plain and simple so yeah subscribe like comment and let's get it man i bet oh man this is awkward right no just kidding hey Guys, it's Friday. We have made it. Bless. Um, my name is Ellie Lee. Gosh. I'm the digital host here. Guys, we have an amazing show for you today. Oh, yes. TGIF. Oh, my God. Um, we're going to do the <laughs> Q&A for her afterwards, but are you guys familiar with Agnes Mo? Oh, someone calling me? No, Shout out no, to no, Agnation for guys, putting Agnes me is on, such dick. A big deal. Indonesia, the entire country loves her, okay? This Facts. is a big deal. Um, I believe I'm that 100%, bro. Her, her vocals are insane. Yep. There's a lot of things going on. Oh, yes. So official. Talented. Is great. Bro. Are you guys pumped? Is she ready? Should I keep talking? Should I keep talking? She looks cool. I'm like, yo, this is the first time can we just say that me and like another Asian girl on stage together? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, okay. Yo, facts though. Like, at least... All right, talking like mainstream and like global, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of, a lot of like Asian like artists, you know what I'm saying, doing their thing out here, bro. Introduce her, she says. Guys, uh, she is nothing to mess with. She is a superstar. Please, everybody, Facts. as loud as you can. Agnes Mo! Let me see. How many? Probably five songs? Five? Five to seven songs? I don't know. Back up, Agnes, back up. You're too close. God damn. bro nah see she dropped her album at six years old bro that's years of like work straining your oh my god that should look like the vein bro you guys can't see it i got like much i got a, like a vein right here that be sticking out sometimes <laughs> are you guys ready for this hey damn what an intro bro <laughs> hey. 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 Mm. That's funny then. This song's called Damn I Love Yeah, Damn I Love You. I reacted to it. It should be up, bro. Oh, 
Ooh, these two are the like the ad libs of the song. That's dope. That's dope. That that way that way she can just focus on the lyrics instead of like kind of repeating herself and doing the ad libs herself. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Damn, I love your ass. full blast bro full blast it ain't going it's 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 a live thing that's why i'm pretty sure this is outside so like the sound isn't like secluded you know what i'm saying so it's not gonna be that, uh that loud They have been awake right now, um, and it's 3 a.m. there, but they're awake, so I just want to give a shout-out to all of you. Thank you so much. Yo, 3 a.m., bro. 3 in the morning, and they're up to watch Agnes Mall, bro. I'm telling you, Agnation, Agnation, yeah, I think it's Agnation. Agnation, bro, be, they be on top of this woman, bro, no cap. Supporting me all the way. Um, I love you guys so much, and by the way, Agnes Mo iHeart Radio has been trending topic on Twitter in Indonesia, so. Nice. You know, um, before I move on to the next song, I want to tell a story about how I always feel like I belong here in, in, in New York. You know, I have a, an interesting New relationship York. with New York. Bro, this is New York. This was probably done live November 9. It looks like it's daytime, so this was probably done in the morning, bro. Like, the day is just getting started for them. And then, back in Asia, you sh your ass should be in bed. No, 2.30. Yeah, 2.30. Oh, no, it's, it's early in the day then, but, yo. 3 in the morning, bro? Y'all should be in fucking bed, bro. <laughs> Coming from a country that has, like, 20,000 islands, and we have a lot of cultures, you know, different sounds, percussions. I feel like New York is so cultured, and it... And I can relate to that. Facts, bro. Um, New York, bro. It's something that I truly appreciate. Bro. And facts. I feel like everything I got started here. So I met Doc Winter the first time in New York. Um, and he's actually the one introducing me to 300, which is 
my label. And of course, no I can curse really well, so I'm a true New Yorker. <laughs> um, Wait, so did she grow up? Hold on, did she grow up in New York? She grew up in New York or, or born? Nah, I don't think she was born there. I'm gonna look it up right now, no kid. She was born in Indonesia, okay. So, probably her music took off when she got introduced to the label. And she's just been down in New York ever since, probably. Think about the song that I'm about to sing right now. Um, it's called Cold Bottle, featuring Timbaland and T.I. Cold Unfortunately, bottle. they can't be here. I reacted to that. Oh, that would have been dope. Um, if Ti and Timberland pulled up, bro. That would have been dope. But yeah, I, re I reacted to that uh, that music video, so it's on the channel. Show some love on that, bro. No, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> but the first person that I played this song to, Wait, song that I'm about to sing right now, um, it's called Cold Bottle, featuring Timberland and Ti. Unfortunately, they can't be here. We tried. They said um, no. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> but the first person that I... Hey, they kept it real, though. You know what I'm saying? That's real. They, you know, they, they, they got their own careers, their own lives and stuff. And they probably said no because of the fact that they were busy. Because if they weren't busy, I'm pretty sure that, you know, they would have pulled up for her and shit. The song, too, uh, was Doug, right? Doug Morris. And it was here in New York as well. And you guys have to know that I didn't grow, I didn't gr grow up speaking English. So I started learning how to speak English when I was like 13, 14 years old. And we've Damn. always been been told that cursing- Damn, bro. 13, 14? Bro, 13 and 14? Bro, she's speaking fluent. Fluent English to me, bro. No cap. Like, you kind of hear the, the, the accent a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But like me, my first language was Spanish. And not until the age of- three or four is when I was learning English. So that's, that. you know what I'm saying? That's an early start for me. For her, that's a late ass start. And my English ain't that perfect. I be fucking up and shit, right? But she's, she's talking like that was her first language, bro, which is really good. It's bad, right? Like you can't say, you can't say, you can't say, you can't say that. And then I came to New York. That ass, Obviously. all that shit, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, New York anyways, is so fire, bro. I sat bro. down in his office, and and you know, like he's suit and tie, and then just executive looking. But he's right? swearing. And then the moment I played this song, he just cursed yep. so much that I was. Bro, that's that's the thing, bro. With like with school too. Like I understand, there's like don't swear in school or whatever the case. I understand that, but it's like, like she said, she has like this big boss who owns a label. You know what I'm saying? Swearing. And he's probably a multi multi-millionaire, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, come on now. You feel me? Like cursing is not bad. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad. And I, I'll defend that shit, bro. No cap. I was so worried. I looked at yeah. the person next to me and then she was like, okay, fuck is good in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck. <laughs> So that's how I learned my English. That shit was funny, bro. You know, my ratchet English. <laughs> so here it is. Coke bottle for you guys. Ratchet English. Hey, man. I feel like just talking like ratchet, I guess you can call it. It, it, it builds character a little bit. You feel me? It's needed. I want to say it's hey. needed. It's a good thing to have. Hey. I don't know. Coke bottle. Bottle. Oh, it's just something different. Hold on. I don't remember it being this low. I got dollars. Could you imagine it giving love to an independent woman? I'm VIP, so they can't see me. I'd be like, damn. Trying to hit on me, but I just do it. I we don't care about him. It's like I'm on a cloud. We don't care about him. Then I got it from my mama. I think of every day, every day to keep the hell going. I, 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 I got it. He know that, he know that. He probably has no chance. Bro, I forgot my camera had a limit, bro. This shit ended on me. We're gonna go back a little bit. It's 
in the like the their station iheart radio station it's, it's like their own building i did i started with outside oh yeah no they don't want to blast that bro they'll probably shatter the glass and shit bro <laughs> bro i want to see this This was outside, bro. <laughs> social media of course it's for the gram uh two years ago three years ago and then one day we decided to just you know what let's let's just play each other's music new music and then long story short um we spent so much time in the studio you know just vibing we didn't think of releasing anything didn't think about the business we were just like let's just do it for the music you know let's just do it for the art and i think i've been doing this for so long 
I my first album. Bro, six years old, bro. She dropped an album at six. Remember that. Um, was actually released when I was six years old. <laughs> you I've been doing this Come on. My whole life. Facts. Um, one thing She's music, I bro. Simple. Always have to remind myself and recalibrate myself is where is my priority? Where is my focus? Yeah. And that's always the, the art. Not about the hype. It's crazy. Not the hype around it, but it's always about the music. And, um, that's and real. Overdose. Did he pull up? She didn't say he was pulling up or not. to him because see if i was doing that i couldn't like work with my hands and the feet at the same time bro i couldn't i've tried it before it's just it's hard for me at least you feel me Oh my god, um Agnes? Uh-huh. Girl. 
Girl! Girl! <laughs> um, we need to talk about the song Overdose. Okay. Yeah. Um, the music video is hot. Rumor has it you directed it. Yeah. yeah so you're a director too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what else? Can I'm not surprised, bro. She's been doing music since she was six years old. Come on now. <laughs> bro, whatever, when it comes to music, videos, producing, all that shit, mixing, I'm pretty sure she can do it all, bro. Me too. Um, um, can you talk about the whole experience of, of directing a music video? Um, yeah, because, I mean, we, we went through different treatments, crazy treatments, and Chris was actually the one that um, told me to, to direct it because he knows that I've been directing my music videos. He was like, hey, girl, like, I think you, you need to direct this. And, you know, because Chris also is a director, mm -hmm. I thought he would want to direct that, right? And so we basically we just wanted to make sure that the music video is not about the cool effects or mm. cool stage, yeah, cool yeah. outfits. It, it was natural. It has to be about the story. Mm, you know, because yes. yeah. I think in my experience, it was, not, it was natural. Music, it's it was a good like video. A form of my diary. Mm. And I think music videos need to go back to that yes. story, you know, um, and just feelings, yes, you know, yes, emotions. Yes. Uh, and this that's not the only song you've done with Chris Brown. Yeah. You have a, a lot of songs with him, right? Yeah, so the one that's out right now um, is On Purpose, which is on his deluxe album, uh, Overdose, which is, you know, my, my single. But we did probably 12 songs oh. on Damn. top of that. Yeah. Okay, Daniel. when are we getting all that? <laughs> really soon. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Really soon, but I, other than that, I feel like I need to share... Um, the fact that I recorded about 50 to 60 songs for my own project. Oh. And, you know, my management and I basically decided that after this single, I want to focus on my single yes. first before, you know, coming out with uh, the feature. Yes. You know, the duet album. Basically. Yes. And let's talk about this docu-series. Duet album? Did she just hint that her and Chris Brown are going to drop a collab album, bro? No way. That'd be fucking dope. Yeah. Is it called I Am? Yes. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so the docu-series is uh, that, that I'm producing and writing and directing and... <laughs> Do Everything. You sleep, bro? Damn, yo! Mad busy! Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh my god! No, because I mean, it's docu-series. I mean, you know, like, you know yourself better yes, than, yes, than yes, anybody yes. else. Um, so it's called I Am. The tagline is I Am Me, My Own Version of Me. So the reason why I use that tagline and I um, wrote that tagline is the fact that you know, people sometimes forget that just because you're an artist, you're, you're a public figure, you're under the spotlight, they feel like they they're gonna they're gonna be the ones who know you better. Mm. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, especially the um, the bridge, right? The gap between. Let me let me replay that back, bro. Cause she's speaking facts. You know, people sometimes forget that just because you're an artist, you're, you're a public figure, you're under the spotlight, they feel like they they're gonna they're gonna be the ones who know you better. Mm. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, especially the just because you're under the spotlight, fame, everything, the fans think they know that individual better. Agnation, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of you who think you know this lady way more. Then she knows herself, which is never the case. That's like me saying, I know you better than you know yourself. No one in this world, bro, absolutely no one knows you the way you know yourself. And it's just facts. She's literally speaking facts, bro. No cap. They, they're going to they're gonna be the ones who know you better. Mm. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, especially the, um, the bridge, right? The gap between me as an Indonesian and me as Agnes Mo sometimes gets really blurred. Sure. You know, they, they try to always put me in, Facts. not always, but just some people yeah. try to put me in their little boxes. Yes. Oh, just because you're from Asia, then you got to dress up like this. Oh, because you're this, you're doing urban. Oh, you're too thin for that girl. Like, no. oh, oh, like you're too Asian. Mm. Oh, you're too much talking, bro, from the people. Too much talking, bro. If you want to do something with yourself, Wear whatever you want, tattoo yourself, anything, bro. You go do it for the sake of you wanting to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you're you, bro. You're you. You're going to do what you want. And that's just how it is, bro. At the end of the day, you, you, like her, she may have all this fame and money, bro. All the supporters in the world. But, like, at the end of the day, it's always, it has to be always her, bro. It's always going to be just her. You know what I'm saying? Cause she has to take time outside of music, like she said earlier, to think back and like kind of prioritize where her mind is at, just so she can, you know, stay stable, not overwork herself, 
stress, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? So like, she, bro, she's speaking facts, bro. Oh, just because you're from Asia, then you gotta dress up like this. Oh, because you're this, you're doing urban. Oh, you're too thin for that, girl. Like, mm. or oh, like you're too Asian. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're you're too Americanized, or you too this. Yeah. Like, there's there's no end mm. to that. There's absolutely no end to it, bro. A hundred percent. No end mm. to that. So I decided that. Well, if you again, since I'm in New York, I don't know if I can curse or not. But if you f with me, we're good. Okay. F with me. Yes. But if not, it's fine too. Yes. As long as I. Facts, bro. If y'all rock with my videos, 100% I appreciate y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't, I don't care. I don't care because I know the real ones who fuck with me, bro, who like me for me, bro, they, they gonna stick around. And that's all I want. I just want genuine, real people who fuck with me for me, bro. Not because I'm pushing out this content. If y'all rocking with me, bro. That's all I want. Plain and simple, bro. Yo, she's speaking facts, bro. Come on. But if you F with me, we're good. Okay. F with me. Yes. But if not, it's fine too. Yes. As yeah. long as I'm myself. Yes. You yeah. know? Yes. And 100, so the bro, Rock TV is basically focusing on 100. encouraging the younger generation. Don't focus on the hype. Focus on your identity first. Yes. Exactly. And, and it's okay for you to um, not figure it out. Um right now yes. like you can take your time to figure yourself out it's okay to embrace your vulnerability it's okay yeah. for you, to, you know yes, like, yes. you know a lot of these things um happen because people don't know how to cope with their 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 pain mm. right and because like this generation they always want you to always look lit every time looks like a always. savage you yes. don't have any feelings but it's you you're just bro you're just like you're just setting yourself up for worse days bro mentally you know what i'm saying like just do what you want be what you want bro and just be happy find happiness whatever makes you ask happy whoever makes you happy stick around with them or stick to that you know what i'm saying really impossible of course you know what i mean yes. so i feel like yep. i have the platform now to share to to my fans especially or you know the existing fans and also um, Real. you know the other fans <laughs> amazing um that yeah like like it's okay it's okay for you to to be yourself it's okay for you to to say that you're not okay yeah you know you don't have to always put put up that mask yes. it's it's okay to be to be not okay a hundred percent bro same way bro she has that platform i'm trying to build this platform man you know what i'm saying but it's like at the end of the day it's obviously you know music vibes laughs energy all that but it's like at the end of the day i want you i want people to support me so i can be able to you know have a platform where i can say things like this bro real genuine things like this to try to help other people you know what i'm saying if i can bring even the slightest smile to your face bro i'm happy you know what i'm saying that should make me happy bro so it's like it's just if you got a platform or you trying to build a platform you really got to think about your your the the people watching you you feel me because it's just that's just how it is bro uh, there's so much shit going on in the, in the world that like people forget about themselves sometimes and it's like respect to her for doing that you know what i'm saying a lot of good things to say i like you i like you agnes um okay where can bro. we find she's you she's real for everybody that's she's real and genuine right i sense so, that so uh, it's the same thing twitter instagram um it's at agnes mo a-g-n-e-z-m-o um, and the docu series are gonna be out probably in a couple of months mm -hmm. um, on my YouTube. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, can you guys give it up one more time for Agnes Mo? Yes. Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get, get louder, yo. Whoa, come on, come on. Thank you, girl. Congratulations. She's just a real genuine person, bro. See that? That alone, I'm just like, yo. Agnes Mo is just real, bro. She's real, you know what I'm saying? I, I gain more respect for her. Her talking like that, you know what I'm saying? She has a platform where she can try to help people. She's helped a lot of people with her music. So it's just a bunch of respect from over here, bro. From here to, to Agnes Mo, all the respect for me, man. Real shit. But that's my reaction to Agnes Mo iHeartRadio live session. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.